Okay, so we're gonna talk about the web technology for today. Uh, the web has been developed um, is around 1989 uh, by uh, Tim uh, Benos Lee uh, Esson, which is the very famous uh, laboratory in Europe. And he invented an HTML language for the web coding and uh, uh, HTTP, uh, web server and web browser. So we will discuss about those uh, technologies in uh, the next few slides. And then around uh, 1993, um, the web has been run on the Windows and Unix. Unix is also the name of the operating system such as uh, Mac OS or Windows. And um, in 1994, you know, uh, at that time, um, the the most famous uh, web browser is the Netscape Navigator. Uh, in your generation, maybe you never heard about this, right? But at that time, it's very famous and uh, the top one at that time. However, in one year later, in 1995, a big competitor appeared which is the Microsoft Internet Explorer of we know nowadays. Um, and after that, there's more and more browser appear until now. So you can list them down, right? Such as uh, Opera, Myro, Google Chrome, etc. And behind the website, uh, that's the, the hypertext language, the code. So it's um, the text uh, formatted with the embedded links. So you see that so we can link the website and the documents together and then we can display the sound or videos uh, on the web. So all of them are using hypertext. And we also use the HTTP which stands for the hypertext transfer protocol. Um, it's just a rule to transfer uh, the, the, the files and the content online uh, and to display the content of the website. Um, the URL stands then for the uniform resource uh, locators. Uh, so they will uh, locate the web page. Okay, so for example here, uh, this is the example of a URL like this. Okay. Uh, the first uh, portion here is uh, with the protocol, we call that the HTTP and the name of the website and the folders and the links, you know, folder. And finally, it contains the, the, uh, the website over here. So we call that the URL. And to create the website, we must use the like, makeup languages. There's several makeup languages. Um, uh, however, there's two most popular one is the HTML and XML. Uh, we're gonna have the practice um, section um, about the HTML for today to get familiar with this. So it's quite simple uh, to uh, they use the markup tags, you know, the tags uh, yeah, for the format tags, and then. Um, in recent years, uh, they need to use uh, extensible makeup language, which we call the SML. This is a new one. And uh, developed by W3C, we see the organization who control the um, internet and the website uh, or nowadays. So they decide to describe the data and information online. And the difference is that the text now they can use to define by the user. So that's the difference between SML and HTML. Uh, the web servers and the web clients, we discussed about the server and client last week. Um, basically, the server may be the hardware, okay, the physical uh, computer or the software such as the Apache or Microsoft uh, IIS over here. So the web server software will help the computer to deliver the web pages to
to the client. Yeah, that's it, based on the request. So you can see that the web server here, maybe the sub software or the physical uh, server, uh, they will store the database there, right? Or the data of the website. Uh, like uh, Facebook, right? Or just a new um, um, website. And then web client is any computing device, such as your smartphones, your iPads, your laptops, uh, your Macs. So you can um, send the request to the web server here. <clears throat> So the web client, when you click to open an app, so it will send a request to the web server, right? The, the, the request over here. And then they will, the web server here now responds the content to the client based on the HTTP request, and then they can display the web, uh, web page. Okay, so we call that response over here, response. All right. So that's the meaning of web server and web clients. And to display the content, we must use the web browser, right? Uh, like the IE, uh, Opera, Safari, uh, Google Chrome, and more. Uh, those are the main features of the internet and the web in e-commerce. We can use uh, e email on the web, instant messaging, search engine on the web. Search engine here is not just about Google. There's more, right? Uh, such as uh, Bing or the local search engine in a website. For example, you have the, the search uh, box in the uh, Tiki's or Shopee's website, right? So that's also we call that the search engine of that website. And now the trend now we're using the the intelligent bots, which are sometimes we call that the chat bots. Okay, so now we can use, uh, create the chat bot easily to uh, support the customer services uh, instead of using the, the real uh, agents. So we can use the, the software to answer those uh, simple queries from the customers. And you can know that the research in the US, they uh, confirm that um, the customer get more and more satisfied with uh, the, the chatbot. Uh, we also have the forums and the chat uh, online, streaming media such as Netflix or cookies. Okay. Um, cookies is the, 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 the files which can store the historical action of the a uh, specific user so we can push like you just discussed about the programmatic advertising so based on the historical data they can personalize the um, uh, experience of that uh, user <clears throat> however they can pose some of the uh, privacy threat because they um, record all of the our action online okay and store the information of the user so maybe we have the some of the privacy concern about that um but um cookies are everywhere we use it almost every day uh the next concept is about the web 2.0 web 2.0 features um you know is the two here is mean the second generation of the website you know the first generation is around more than 20 years ago we had the web 1.0 okay so in the web 1.0 this is the for example this is the website just the admin only the admin you know the admin can pause so this is the draw this admin can control the content of web 1.0 for web 2.0, many users, they can post, like you can post some clips on TikTok, Instagram, etc., right? Or some blogs. So it's become web 2.0. It means that the user generated content uh, and they can uh, create uh, more and more social uh, media platforms today. 
So without Web 2.0, we don't have the Facebook, or we don't have the Wikipedia, or um, YouTube, or podcasting services. Okay, so Web 2.0 is now everywhere. Um, we also have the internet uh, telephones, which is you use the, uh, we can call each other online, like Skype, or the internet television, and um, video conferencing. So we use the internet and we call the IP address to the specific um, peers together. For example, the company, the Japanese company, they have the branch in Vietnam. So a team in Vietnam can have the um, uh, video conferencing with the um, <clears throat> uh, with the headquarters in Japan. Um, a little, a little a minor difference between TV video conferencing and Zoom uh, or the other platforms, you know, it will be more uh, uh, secure, you know, uh, because uh, in video conferencing they have they will call directly, and sometimes they will um, um, they will um, they use the IP um, to call. You know, and they, they use a uh, private line as well. They, they, they rent for that service. So it's not like mm, a Google Meet or Zoom, so it's just quite popular. So it's um, raised some of the security issue. Uh, so it's a little bit different. And we also have several web apps, such as uh, many around us, right? Like Canva, right? You can use Canva. Some widgets, uh, some of the software library, uh, or Dropbox, or cloud services, etc. And the mobile application being taken off, you can see that the number of apps on the um, um, CS Play or App Store increasing day by day. So that is about the web, and those are the questions for uh, recording. Uh, and discussion for uh, this chapter. Uh, so why would Google and others allow their software to be combined with uh, other software? What is the potential benefit to consumers? Why would mashups be supportive of the contextual advertising? Okay, so those are the uh, questions. Uh, for discussion uh, at home. Okay, so do you have any questions? 